The 2020 Atlantic hurricane season is underway. We have a long six months ahead of us, don't we? Not every month of the hurricane season is created equal. Most of the hurricanes and major hurricanes historically occur in those peak months of August, September and October. But we can't count out June and July for bringing us hurricanes and tropical storms as well. And when I look at that horizon and I think about what could those warm waters out there fuel? When I stand on a calm beach like this, I love the scenery, but I can't help but think, could this be a spot on the shoreline that a landfall occurs? Could there be big impacts where I live? And that's what makes the difference between how busy the season might be and how bad it might be for you. It only takes one in your town to make it a bad year, but we think we're going to have a lot of chances at storms this year. All of the forecast agencies forecasting an above average hurricane season to be the most likely scenario. We've already had some preseason activity. Arthur and Bertha in the books as May tropical storms and Cristobal has now formed and this sets a record. This has now become the earliest third name storm on record in the Atlantic Basin. Previously, that record held by Colin in 2016 that formed in the southern Gulf near the Yucatan Peninsula in early June. So we've seen this happen before, just not usually a third storm by this time. Now, Cristobal is going to hang out in the Bay of Campeche for days, and that produces that really big concern for life threatening flash floods and mudslides down there, but it will eventually make its move north somewhere in the central to west central Gulf of Mexico. We don't know exactly what path it will take, but it could eventually slow down and make a slow landfall in the northern Gulf or northwestern Gulf. But I don't want you folks in the northeastern Gulf to let down your guard because you're going to end up most likely being on the onshore flow, the wet side of the system. So everyone along the Gulf Coast and points inland need to watch this one very, very closely. We know the system will linger around the Bay of Campeche through the rest of this week. And then it will likely move toward the U.S. late this weekend and maybe produce some impacts into early next week. Just too soon to know the exact track or intensity, but no matter what, water is going to be a factor at the coast and especially inland with heavy rains.